Hey, welcome to Hashtag Tour Life. Thank you so much for joining me and Icing Magazine for my first video vlog. Welcome to Herning, Denmark. We just arrived here from Germany. We've got a day off today and we've got two shows. So I'm gonna go inside and relax a little bit. And then I wanna talk to you a bit about what's really important to me to maintain while I'm on tour, to make sure that every night I'm my best on stage. One of the things that's so important to me when I'm touring is rest. Resting my body, resting my voice. Um, even though I just got off a bus ride, a 12 hour bus ride, we had two hours, two shows in a row just before that. So I'm pretty exhausted. And sometimes you only have one day off in between shows to really recoup. And sometimes that day is spent, you know, making phone calls, running around, you want to see the city. Every now and then it's important to just stop, stop it all and just rest. Um, I was really lucky on a previous tour with Alicia Keys. Um, we worked with her vocal coach and he encouraged us to get no less than eight hours of sleep a night just to shut it completely down. And I find obviously that's the best time to rest your voice because you're sleeping, you're not using it. You know, during our everyday routine, we're talking, we're laughing, we're even singing if we feel like it. And we really don't get our, give our voices a chance to rest where most musicians pick up their instrument. We use ours every day during the day and during the show. So it's really important to shut it down. And I find the best time to shut it down is when I'm asleep. So I try to do no less than eight hours. If you can, even sometimes when you're traveling and I'm exhausted, I'll curl up in a corner, I'll sleep in my dressing room. I just try to like add those hours up to make sure I get my eight hours or even more, just to make sure that my body's, my body's rested from being tired. And actually, when I get into hotels, what I love to do for like an extra little treat. If you don't have a spa, um, I like to run the hot water in my shower and like really steam it up and just sort of clean out everything that's inside and just really relax my body um, or get into a bubble bath with some Epsom salts or some lavender oil. Just all these really great little things that I love to do to just keep my body rested and in the best, most calm state. On top of vocal rest, which um, is so important because again, we do use our voices every day. And sometimes even not, not even, not only when I'm feeling sick, but just when I'm feeling just a little bit tired and I just need to calm it down, um, I get a whiteboard or I'll text. There's these really great apps. If you have an iPhone or I'm sure for other kinds of phones, they have apps where you can text to talk. Um, I used that once for a vocal injury and it saved my life. Or if you just really need a quick moment, I run, grab those yellow sticky pads and just write vocal rest and stick it on your laminate and just flip it to anybody who tries to have a conversation with you. It's really important to maintain discipline when you're on the road um, because this is all we have. So I know my voice, it's very sensitive, so I've got to really take care of it. And making sure that vocally I'm rested and physically I'm rested um, and that I'm physically rested is probably the most important thing for me. And I hope it works for you too. Hey, so I've just come off stage from a two hour show with Robbie Williams and I'm exhausted. But now that I'm alone, I've showered, I've taken my makeup off, I've put my wardrobe back in the case and I'm ready to do some vocal warm downs. It's just as important to me as warming up before the show because it helps rest my voice, get it back into a calm speaking place before I go and rest my body. Um, we always get together before the show and bunch of us we throw around a bunch of different exercises just to warm our voices up get us in the in the mood and the vibe for the show but um, after two hours of screaming at the top of my lungs I think I owe it to myself and that's a big part of what I like to consider my vocal health and fitness while I'm on the road and I hope you'll try it too one of the most important things for me is maintaining physical fitness when I'm on tour um, usually I'll find a gym the hotels will have a gym and I'll come down I'll either get on the treadmill or on the elliptical, and I'll try to do about 25 to 30 minutes um, to warm up my body, to get in the best shape I can, um, to maintain you know, my physical fitness while I'm on tour. A lot of the shows that I've been doing lately have required me to sing and dance as well. So it's important that while I'm dancing and doing choreography, that I'm not tired and I'm not out of breath while I need to um, you know, still put on a great show. And it's important that you know, at the end of the night, I don't want my, my muscles to be tired or I don't want to be sore. So also things like stretching before and after the show, um, maybe doing some yoga. And if there's no gym, you know, I'll run around outside, I'll go for a jog, 
or get on the bicycle. At the risk of sounding redundant, um, again, a very, very, very important thing for me while I'm on tour is making sure that my diet is on point. Um, things like avoiding dairy that cause a lot of phlegm and mucus for me, staying away from alcohol because it dries my throat out, making sure that I'm hydrated, lots of water, um, definitely, especially before the show. Um, on show days, I love to drink lots of tea, um, herbal teas, throat coat, throat comfort, things like that, even chamomile, um, anything that's just really soothing, has a lot of good herbs that are good for um, puffy and inflamed and tired vocals, vocal cords. Um, I always keep a stash of, of, of things to soothe my throat, like Grether's pastilles. They're delicious. They're expensive and kind of hard to find, but if you can, grab a few boxes before you hit, hit the road. Um, it's well worth it. And an, a great alternative to that is um, Werther's, Werther's, uh, Werther's Originals, those delicious little butterscotch candies, or gummy bears, because they have a lot of the same, um, I think it's the glycerin in there that keeps your, keeps you salivating and just sort of keep you, your mouth sort of hydrated in, in that way. So those are really great. Also, um, just what I put in my body, like my diet, actually, actually the actual food that I eat is really important to me. I like to make sure that it's as clean as possible. Um, it's good that I have a good amount of, of carbs and starchy carbs and things like that. But uh, I like to juice. I like bring a nice protein um, powder with me on the road just for those days where I can't get the best um, diet because it's hard. You're traveling, you're going from different country to different country and you just really don't know the kind of food you're going to get, what to eat, what to get, um, where to get it. And sometimes, you know, you can't even speak the language so it might be hard to understand what you're eating. So I just like to travel with a few things that work for me in my diet. And you should, you know, make a list of things that really work for you. And, and if you can, bring those things along with you. But I like to just keep as clean a diet as possible. Lots of um, vegetables and, and, and fruit. And um, just making sure that I'm avoiding, a lot, avoiding sugar. And staying um, healthy and keeping my energy up. And making sure that every night on stage I've got great energy. My vocal cords are nice and clean and clear. I'm rested and I'm well hydrated. Good morning. I've just climbed off the tour bus and uh, I'm now in Oslo. And I just wanted to speak to you finally about some things that I also think it's important to have with you to be prepared um, while you're on the road. And that actually indirectly help, does affect um, your performance every night. One of those things for me is my tea urn. I carry my little tea cup. You can get these little things at Starbucks or, you know, just something to keep your tea with you um, in which I always have some throat coat or something herbal for either my stomach or my voice. Um, I have this little travel uh, humidifier, which is awesome. You just stick a bottle of water in it. You plug it in. This goes everywhere. Um, and you can get Aerosys Swiss and you can get this from any Amazon company in your country uk or .com. Um, and it's really awesome and you can take it to your hotel you can bring it in your dressing room um, let's see oh I have my little pill box because as I spoke to you before diet's important so I bring all my vitamins in here and I organize them because I never know what day it is it's always Groundhog's Day on tour uh, let's see my Baraka is another vitamin thing actually, I actually have this little bag pouch that just keeps all my meds from home. Um, like I said, if you have something specific that you need to travel with, see your doctor before you leave. Um, mine all stay in a little baggie, but it's good to have this stuff because sometimes you just can't find the same medicine um, if you run into trouble and you never want to run into trouble. Um, what else? I keep my diary, which is not really um, something medical or directly affects my voice, but it's important that you know, when you're dealing with drama or anything emotional, or you just want to get your thoughts out, I write them down. Um, and helps keep my head clear so that when I go on stage, I can just focus on my job and I'm not bringing all the baggage and drama and my worries onto the stage. Because it's important that no matter what happens to you, you still have to be able to go out on stage every night, perform, kick butt, and rock out like everything is all good. And hopefully it will be, but I like to keep this with me. And last but not least, 
I keep a good old pair of sleep shades and earbuds with me because you just never know when you know you need to black out. I got this one off the plane actually. So if you happen to fly it with an airline that gives you these, snatch them. They don't care. Um, be where I sleepwalk. No, I don't. But, uh, and these little earbuds are great for protecting your ears. You know, you actually do need to protect your ears um, because you've got in ears or monitors and you're, you know, constantly being, your ears are being um, harassed by either things in them or noise. So it's important that at night you sleep sound. Um, and these are great because they're soft and squishy as opposed to the hard in ears. So these are just a few things for me. Oh, sorry. And this, my wrap, my massive all-in-one cozy wrap sometimes doubles as a blanket um, for those times when I just am cold in the venue or traveling through the airport. This really just keeps me warm. Um, and yeah, sometimes it goes over my head and um, a good pair of sunglasses, as you can see, because you just have to be incognito sometimes. So anyway, um, those are just my own personal little things. And I'm sure you have your own thing. So before you leave home, go through your room, take a few bits with you. It might be a photo of your loved one. It might be your diary. It might be a fuzzy little pillow. Do what you need to do. Be prepared so that when you're on the road, you can be comfortable so that by the time you get on stage, you are at your best. You're rested. You're hydrated. You've eaten well. You've slept and your mind and body is prepared and you're ready to do a great show. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next month.